nation's air force is its first line of defense, a vital asset that must be able to operate in all weathers, day and night. But night flying brings its own hazards. Without runway lights, it's difficult to land or take off. So what if those lights are damaged by enemy action or a simple power outage? Or what if there's an urgent requirement to establish a temporary airstrip to ensure local air supremacy or an emergency or to support covert operations, perhaps on unconventional or unimproved surfaces? Without landing lights, such flexibility is impossible. Without flexibility, a multi-billion dollar asset rapidly loses its value. At worst, grounded, that multi-billion dollar asset becomes just a very expensive target. The simple answer is MOSKIT, Minimum Operating Strip Lighting Kit. MOSKIT is rapidly deployed, is configurable for rotary and fixed-wing aircraft, and is easily adaptable whatever the size of airfield, whether as an emergency lighting system or for a temporary airstrip. Portable, robust, simple, and proven by the armed forces of Britain, the USA, several NATO countries and many others, it's used around the world. MOSKIT is unique. Moskit is a self-supporting system with standalone capability. The robust self-contained trailer is fully airportable by helicopter with a C-130 able to carry five plus additional personnel. The forward compartment provides stowage for the light units, the core elements of the system. The standard Moskit trailer carries four types of lights. Firstly, 18 Orals, omnidirectional runway edge lights. Made of high-strength polycarbonate with borosilicate glass lenses, these lamps meet exacting NATO standards and can operate in the most extreme environmental conditions. With three preset levels of light intensity, they provide up to 13 hours continuous operation at full intensity. Manual or radio-controlled operation can be selected. Orals can be deployed at distances up to 300 meters apart along the runway edge, in accordance with NATO Stanag 3534 Type 1 and 2 minimum operating strips. The UAL, Unidirectional Approach Light, is based on the Oral and uses many common components. Three of these generator-powered lights are carried on the standard trailer, two for operation and one as a spare. When used as part of the Mars layout, the UALs are placed in line with the center of the runway at the approach end. By setting the desired approach angle on the scale and adjusting the built-in spirit level, the lamp is quickly and precisely positioned between 2 and 8 degrees elevation to suit the approach angle of the aircraft. The standard Mars kit carries two generator-powered TAC-PAPIs, Tactical Precision Approach Path Indicators, the PAPI is suitable for visual flight operations both day and night. These lightweight units are deployed in a wing bar nine meters out from the port side of the runway approach. A built-in spirit level and inclinometer ensure ease of deployment and accuracy of setting. Four NVG PAPIs, night vision goggle compatible precision approach path indicators, are also supplied with Moskit. Similar in appearance to the TAC PAPI and constructed to the same high standards, these units emit infrared light at a fixed intensity, so providing complete compatibility with generation two and three night vision goggles. The rest of the equipment supplied with the trailer includes a battery charger which charges the Orals, NVG PAPIs, drill and pedometer. Housed in the aft compartment are two diesel driven generators one is a spare or can be used if expansion of the approach lighting array is required. Each is securely mounted but is easily removed for repair or maintenance. 
Finally, the trailer contains a powered cable drum for the deployment and recovery of cable. In less than the 20 minutes called for in the Stanag, three men can have a minimum operating strip up to 1,800 metres long and a minimum 15 metres wide deployed and fully operational. Mosquit is a unique system, the first of its kind and proven around the world by the RAF, the US Marine Corps and many other air forces. It's been used successfully in many operational theatres for missions such as Operation Enduring Freedom in Afghanistan, in Kosovo and Bosnia, for evacuation missions in Sierra Leone and the Congo, and throughout the war in Iraq. An electronic pedometer is mounted on the trailer, visible from the driver's rear view mirror, so ensuring fast and accurate positioning of the lights. Mosquit is the only portable airfield lighting system that meets NATO STANAG's 3534 and 7025 relating to Type 1 and Type 2 minimum operating strip airfields. When deployed, either manual or remote control is selected. Radio control is via a coded VHF receiver module controlled by a handheld master switching unit or MSU. Secure remote control by radio is possible from up to four kilometers away. All the following footage was shot from a helicopter for demonstration purposes. The standard Mosquit is capable of a number of different lighting configurations. This footage shows a 1,500 metre long MOS layout with two UALs in front of the threshold. The two tack pappies to the port side of the runway approach show steady white signals, indicating that the aircraft is above the desired glide path. In this clip, as the helicopter gains altitude, we can see the tack pappies changing from both red, too low, to one red and one white, the correct glide path, to both white, too high. This shows the NVG pappies and the orals in NVG mode. Four NVG pappies, again to the port side of the runway approach, show four steady lights, indicating that the aircraft is well above the recommended glide path. A signal of two steady and two flashing lights would indicate that the aircraft was on the correct glide path, while all four flashing would indicate it was below. The addition of the supplementary airfield lighting kit, SAL kit, with 64 orals in a self-contained trailer, allows the extension of a runway, or as seen here, a shorter distance between lights, and the creation of taxiways and parking areas, delineated by the blue orals. Both Mosquit and SAL kit are suitable for fixed and rotary wing aircraft. Orals are easily configured to create helicopter landing zones, including FATO, final approach and takeoff. On this NATO T, the landing zone has been supplemented by using a flashing oral as a beacon. Metalite Aviation also offers a cable-based system, cab kit, that contains cable, junction boxes and sentry boxes for 24-hour operation of the orals deployed from Moskit and Salkit. The orals can be powered directly from generators on the cab kit or mosquit trailers or from a centrally located field generator. 
While being powered, the batteries within the Orals are recharged, providing power backup should a problem arise with the airfield lighting circuits. Power and field status of the airfield lighting circuits are shown by LEDs on the junction boxes and sentry boxes. A container-based version of cab kit is also available. Cab kit is now entering service with the US Marine Corps after successful trials under operational conditions. Whatever configuration MOSKIT is used in, wherever in the world it's deployed, it provides both a vital insurance policy for any Air Force and gives that valuable asset the flexibility that enables it to be truly effective. Rapidly deployed, full standalone capability, easily expandable, proven around the world. Wherever planes must keep flying, there's a need for MOSKIT.